Are you having lunch? Are you tasting down with black peppercorn? Look at this. Look at this cream. I need a mom type. Hanger steak, and the hanger steak usually comes in like one piece. <coughs> it's a one piece of steak that doesn't have a left and right side. It just hangs in the stomach, so it's called a hanger steak. <laughs> There's a sinew in the middle. When I get the steak, it comes in steak ready like this, and then I age it. Chimichurri done. I added a little bit of, um, and I use a little bit of Maggi. Mmm. Be a Cumin. Oregano. Paprika is <laughs> going to bring the color that makes it so beautiful. Okay. The look at this. Look at this. Marinade. Look at this baby right here. Right? Yeah, it looks good. That's, oh, yeah. That is Latin style marinade. Okay. What we're gonna eat today. Yes. These are gonna Wow, why does this side look so much juicier? <laughs> Yesterday when I landed, I tried like a chunk of hanger steak at this grab and go spot in the airport. It's actually really good. So my dad's been aging steak in the fridge with like a paper towel so it kind of oxidize and then the paper towel lets it dry up. We're marinating it for lunch and grilling it with salad. Me too, salty? No, I don't like tomatoes. Pull it. Oh, yummy. Mm. Wow. This liquid from this tomato is what's gonna give us the flavor. Now you add salt. I'm just eating the tomato. She's literally ruining the recipe right now. Oh, sorry, sorry. Tomato and sugar, hand in hand. Everything I put in there easily fit in your mouth in one bite. Thank you for letting me cut it. Once the cucumber is in, and then Lucas is gonna cut the rest of the cucumber, she's gonna do exactly what I did, but with an American cucumber. He's gonna peel it in half, cuts it just the way I do it. Cool. Good luck, bro. How did he do it again? A little thinner. Thinner, 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 thinner. That's too thick. Perfect job. Exactly what I did. <laughs> except, except that you have trash here. Wait, and also this is too thick. Isabel, you're being a pain in the butt. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Always oil before the acid. This is the only thing she's been doing. <laughs> Mixing so and tasting midway. Mad useless. <laughs> are you having lunch or are you tasting? Because it looks like you're having lunch. This part. Kind of ugly. Is that ugly? No, it's pretty ugly. Sorry. Would you eat that? No. You, you, don't, you would send that back in the restaurant, right? That's the whole point of you touching it with your hands. So the difference is, I want you to touch it and it turns into gold. Once you pass through your hands, it becomes something special. Is this better? It's much better. But I don't want the bruised part and the brown parts like that in there. So it's been washed and tried to dry, and now I'm gonna put it in the fridge. I'm gonna go cook the steak, okay. and when I come back, I'm gonna pull off this paper towel. I'm gonna put feta cheese. I'm gonna put the rest of this liquid, because when I come back, this liquid, Will form. So we're gonna keep this crispy. This liquid right there. And dry. With that the is our towel. dressing. Gabel, that is our dressing. We keep it. <laughs> That's what I was trying to tell you. Gabel. Coconut cream, apérol, tequila. That's pretty inventive. Remember Chris? So quick. I think like 30 more seconds. What say? All right. I let that bitch rest, though. You feel me? I know you think you're at the center of the show, but I'm making a salad right now. And that's our salad. I want to cut it so it's like nice juicy pieces of stuff on there. So everything is done in like a bite size and a size. Pinot Noir, okay then. Lunchtime. Wow, oh my gosh, so cute. Thanks, Denny and Mommy. Excuse me. Okay, but you didn't have any salad. You don't want salad? Mm. Oh, hi. See all that oh, hi. <laughs> what are you drinking, Mom? I'm drinking an apro cream coconut cream. Coconut cream, tequila, lime juice, lemon. Thanks. <laughs> I was not paying attention, Mom, to see. 
It's like, I'm just happy to be here. Mommy's in the cutest Aritzia beanie. Yeah. Shout out to Aritzia, right, Mom? Thank you, Aritzia. <laughs> We're Except in the I just yelled at everybody, by the way. I it. did Isabel, because she could cut that out. Issa no, song off, no, it's off fine. Camera. I think that was funny. You guys, you guys, song you guys keep. Camera. You know what? If you guys want to film, sure. Wait, we're twinning, Gaga. We're both wearing blue. Yay! Hmm. <laughs> He's gonna fall asleep in the movie theater. <laughs> I got. I got. <laughs> Spelling game? How about, wait, wait, Dad, how about, how about play? refrigerator? Refrigerator, you have to. We were doing to so well last night in the car talking about making sauces. Oh, yeah. Wait, Gaga's good at this, though. Hey, how do you make beer blanc? White wine. Shallot, onion, uh, uh, no. Next. Sh shallot, garlic, you. Uh, next. Shallot, uh, mushroom. black pepper. Mushroom, black pepper, heavy cream. Uh, Mushroom? Yeah. White wine. white wine, white wine, um, pepper, white wine, pepper, pepper corn. <laughs> corn, and yeah. heavy cream, but per dough reduce, specifically. Reduce into a sauce. I reduce said into a syrup. white wine yesterday and you said white wine. White wine is, milk before white cream? wine is not good for lobster. It makes it sour. But this is how you make beer blanc. You sweat shallots down with black peppercorn and you add white wine reduced to a syrup. You add two tablespoons this of is, cream this is every and then day. you monte butter in. Doesn't Brene start with the uh, aru? No. Fuck. Brene's is a hollandaise. There's it's something, hollandaise there's something the green in there peppercorn. though. Peppercorn. Starts with a tea, it's an herb. Tarragon. 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 No, mustard, you just get in the jar. You never make them. <laughs> you, 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 How do you make ketchup? Sugar, tomato. <laughs> you watched a one Nara Smith, Smith video. No more Stonestown. Japantown now. <laughs> Next Chinatown. I mean, and then we have Koreatown. Actually, we don't have Koreatown. We Korea don't have town. a K-Town here, but we do have a Filipino town here. Oh. So right now we're going to Maru Saicha. And Maru. You are back home, Taiwan. <laughs> Aru Saicha is the best matcha I think in SF. The strawberry matcha is my favorite. And then we're gonna go watch Didi. I'm actually down to come to Japan town more. It's more of a vibe. Stones town. This is so Bay Area. <laughs> we only rotate between stones in Japan. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dad. I just fierce on Thai shoelaces. You know, that's good. I got it. Popcorn is secured. Hi, Dad. Are you ready to cry? No. You're gonna cry. Rise into this. I see beautiful cues. Music was just coming out of me. Yes, sir. Popcorn is secure. Just let it bounce. Pizza delivery will be out It's Teddy. Ready when you take it up and then do the Send him off to find parking. Right, Gaga? Okay. They yeah. let me do that. Lucas is on. Um, <laughs> yeah, the valley guys are kind of judging her right now, but I'm just looking at them like this. So they stop Dude, looking. If people cared about getting judged, then the world wouldn't go around. So. True. It's really good advice from you. <laughs> it's really good advice. My jacket is thrifted, and my jeans are actually from Coach. This is like. This is like my fit from 
Oh, is the table ready? Following, following. I just cut the entire fat cap and do this as a mom. Happy birthday, Lucas. Thank you. Oh, look at the big potato in the camera. Mmm. God damn. Crazy. <laughs> We get it as rare as possible. Because that's just us. Mm. Mashed potato. Oh, fuck. Low key, I fucked this up. The King Henry cut. She got seconds. We all got the King Henry cut, which is the biggest fucking slice. The best baby brother. As well, you're my favorite sister ever. The best pop. Love you. You and Goga are tied. <laughs> Happy 12th birthday. Happy birthday, GD. 12 years old today, guys. You see it? Bruh. <laughs> hey, guys, with the fam. Hi. We in Chinatown right now. Going to have dim sum with our papa. What it do? What it do? So Allison and I went to volunteer the other day and then the people there were kind of roasting SF Chinatown, which I completely disagree with because I think there's so much beauty in the architecture here. And we have a lot of culture and they were basically complaining how like dirty it is, even though to me, New York is really fucking dirty sometimes. So they were saying this, but the food critics and the, what is the, what is it called? Health department? Yeah, the health department is literally on every restaurant's ass in SF because you need to have a graded score. It's not a letter grade, it's a number grade. And so that's why the restaurants can only stay if they pass the health inspection. So I'm here to debunk what people said about SF Chinatown saying that it's really nasty or whatnot. Because this, this is our home. This is my home. I was with Allison and we were like, excuse me? What did you say about SF? It low-key be nasty sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Not saying it's the cleanest city in the world. I can never have peace in this car. I can never just like talk to the camera. It's my, uh, my dad's uh, brother's uh, wife. We just rolled up to Chinatown and ran into our room. That's just so Chinatown. We just like pulled the, up the and song we ran pit. into someone, one of our cousins. <laughs> The Sung family blood runs deep. <laughs> Hi, Ma! Hi, Popo! Okay. What? Whatever you want. <laughs> sure. You can walk or whatever. Nasty. I'm trying to fight someone, bro. Bro, honestly, if someone picks on the old Popo, I'm ready to fight. Don't go all this Chris on me. <laughs> yo, 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 what it do? Right down, so he's up there. My brother's taking too long to take a shit, so I'm telling my dad to go pretend to be mad and yell at him because that's his fear. <laughs> he's showering. He'll be ready. All oh, the lights are on, though. Yeah, I want him to enjoy his shower. 
It's all good. Hey, Bell Bell. Yeah. I could hear the water sound, so he wasn't like goofing around. He was showering, so I didn't I didn't have the heart to scare him when he's in the shower. Wait, why? Because he's showering. I could hear the water. It's not like he's just goofing around. It's he, not was. Like he was. He just doing. started showering then. Yeah. So, if I just scare him, there'll be water all over the floor, and then he'll just... Hi, Mom's confident that Luca's gonna goof around like this again, so...